Relax, Alison. I'm thrilled for you. Me? Hey, you don't think I'm going to make a fuss, do you? No. Well, not. You see? Cool, calm, deliriously happy for you both. Oh, no. I am a bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Sleep tight. Yeah, I'm with you too. <laughs> the champagne is really strong. Oops. I'm not hungry. I know you're missing the boyfriend, but that's no reason to starve yourself. Get that for me, will you? Hi. What are you doing here? I invited him over. Celebrate his release from the clinic. I thought it might be fun for both of you. Gee, Mum, that was considerate. Get my cast off in a couple of weeks. Great. And I reckon my lung will be all right too. No major after effects. I'm happy for you. Spent a lot of time with Kim while I was in. You know Kim Furious from Fast and Furious? Yeah. Wrote a song for her. Yeah. Let's eat. Oh, Whoa, well, awesome food. Well, thank you, Nick. Well, let's start, shall we? This is going to be fun. Hey, you coming. Hi. Hi. Gerald's not around, is he? I didn't see his car. Nah, it's probably parked across the road. Don't worry, he went to bed early. So he was feeling crook. Nah, didn't happen to a nicer guy. <laughs> you want coffee? Yeah, black, thanks. God, Steve's house is a total madhouse. We've been organising back for the wedding. Oh, yeah. Hallie's really going to do it, huh? We don't mind, do you? I mean, you've got Rachel now. <sighs> Past tense. Oh, Stuart, what happened? Big brother. He stuffs up everything. Well, you're not going to let him get away with it, are you? Hello. Yeah, he is. If you say so. But he's in bed. Okay. Someone go for Daryl. Look, I'll go. No, don't worry about it. Daryl, mate, it's for you. Who? Didn't answer. Yeah, listen, mate, he's not answering. Oh, I'll get him to. Hang up. Probably didn't want to speak to him any more than we do. Hey, Doc, the bed's made up. You'll be okay on the floor? No fit, buddy. OK, man, just gonna have a shower. Oh, Christian, I'm throwing you out tonight. No, I volunteered. If he's gonna have any last-minute second thoughts, I don't want to know. Uh-uh. Oh, -uh. he won't. Well, bedtime, I think. Big day tomorrow. Yeah, sleep well, honey. Hi. Busy night. Average. Off to bed. Steve? Sorry about all this mess. Wasn't exactly my idea. <laughs> you know what the wedding was? Uh, good thing I got the uh, fridge fixed before Gina cooked every delicacy known to mankind. <laughs> and a few that aren't. Yeah, I'm really grateful. That wouldn't be much of a celebration without my friends, would it? <laughs> I've been a bit strange, eh? just that I'm scared for you, Ellie. You don't have to be. You know, Chris isn't a total monster, you know. Wait until the full moon. Full body hair, fangs. <laughs> Starts yelling in the middle of the night, don't call me, OK? I'm going to miss you. Just be happy. Oh, I will. Right, file those. Who's next? Mr Armstrong. And can you ask Shannon to come out and cover me? I have to leave for the wedding shortly. Oh, yes, you and two-thirds of my staff. Bad luck if anyone needs medical attention on Dr Warner's wedding day. At least you'll know where to find us. Okay. Mr Armstrong. Hi, Mum. Let me see. It's, uh, Nick, right? Ha, ha. The one who doesn't turn up for the meals I cook. Oh, phone me to let me know. Sorry. Mind me asking where you were? Rachel's. Oh. Was her father there? Nah, but her mum did this thing with chicken and wine and mushrooms. How come you don't cook like that? 
Or maybe I would if I could count on you being there to eat it. I've hardly laid eyes on you since you left the clinic. Yeah, well, you've got other things to do. Aerobics and stuff and jogging with Mikey Babe. Mikey Babe is there with Alex, in case you didn't realise. Oh, gross. What's wrong with her? Oh, look, all I'm saying is I have plenty of time for you. How about we have coffee later? Sorry. Plans. Popular as. Watch out for the cake, Sammy. Relax, Gina. I'll get this preheating. Remind me the minute they say I do to dash and get the piroshka in the oven, OK? Oh, wow, well, you guys need to the fridge. It's not exactly like we have a wedding every day, Gina. I bet you're going to miss Alison. Yeah, the place will be empty without her. You going to get another flatmate? Probably. Why? Are you interested? Oh, I would, but I already promised Kirsty can't let her mate down. Um, Ellie wants a face mask. In the fridge. Oh, that's the tahini. Oh, it looks the same to me. You go. I'm not putting this on my face. Why not? You want to look beautiful, don't you? <laughs> You're the bride. <laughs> oh, that'll be the guys at the door. <laughs> oh. oh, Mum, hi. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Aren't you dressed yet? Oh, there's plenty of time for that. Thank you. Oh, Mum, you remember Jackie? <laughs> and that's... Gina and Sam. Hello. Where do you want this? Um, it's a garden wedding, Kevin. Where do you think? <laughs> Take this through. Please. All right. Well, my girl, might have taken a while, but looks like you've finally got your man. <laughs> no, no. It's not level, Steve. Doing the best I can, Kirsty. Quick, Kirst, this is oh. heavy. Where do you want these? Over there in rows. Don't forget to leave an aisle and you go and help him, huh? OK. I need a hand here. In a minute, in a minute. Oh, Mr. Rainer, champagne, that's great. Um, chili bins, over there. Hi, I'm early. I'm always early. Oh, well, don't worry about it. Any good flowers? Just tell me what to do. Okay, I need some small bunches for the table. Thanks for inviting me today. I hate hanging around the house with the olds on my day off. Yeah, me too. I was thinking about getting a flat now I'm working, but I'm not sure if I'm going to need to live by myself. Oh, well, I'm looking for a place. Do you want to share? Oh, Mrs. Rainer. One corsage oh. for the mother of the bride and one buttonhole for Kevin. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> Kevin, hold still. Who's collecting the groom? He's driving himself. In fact, he should be on his way right now. That bastard. Oh, my God. I know you had an appointment with Dr. Warner, but I'm afraid he's on his way to his wedding. Dr. Dodman will be free in a minute. Do you want me to take him? I asked Carrie to send down Shannon half an hour ago. At this rate, I'm going to miss the ceremony. Oh, I could cover for you if you like. Can you handle all this? I'm not a total techno nerd. Go on. Oh, I owe you one. <laughs> yeah, you can do my next appendix to me. <laughs> See you at the reception. Oh, save me some champagne. If there's one wedding I want to dance at, it's Chris's. Shawland Street. Putting you through. Do you think I'm wasted in medicine? I think you'd be better employed in exam room too. Spoil sport. And Jenny mentioned Shannon's going to take over the desk. I'm too short staffed to pull her off the wards. Help! Oh, really? I've just done it in my back. It's the start of the session. Well, it serves you right. I told you you needed a longer warm up. Have a hot shower, you'll be fine. But Carrie? Well, I love the bedside manner. You like mine better? Come through. Exam two, you said? Shortland Street. Yeah, the garden looks lovely, Steve. Thank you very much. Except it doesn't rain, huh? Yeah, this is your seat here. <laughs> OK, I'll save a spot for Jenny. She'll be here in a minute. Sure. Well, it looks like everything. Perfect. You've done an amazing job. Oh, thanks. What's well, a buzz? I think I need more glasses. I love those little roll things. Kirsty's idea. She said only finger food simpler for a garden do. She's a great organiser, isn't she? Yep, likes a party too. 
Oh, it's going to be so much fun sharing with her. Pardon? Oh, we're going to get a flat together. She just asked me. Can I sneak one? Come on. Oh, phew, I thought I was going to be late. Oh, don't worry. Chris isn't here yet. I just saw Alison inside. She looks radiant. Yeah, I'll bet. Ready, Ma? Already? Oh, you must be the most beautiful bride in history. And you were such a scruffy little girl. Hey, don't cry, Mum. Your eyes will go all red and everyone will think that you're not happy for me. Oh, I am, sweetheart. You are certain this time. You know I like Chris, but it, if I thought for a second he wouldn't make you happy... Oh, he will, Ma. He will, I promise. Oh. <laughs> Look, I feel stupid. I mean, why have they let you talk me into this? I don't know. Um, we were going to sneak off to a registry office, remember? And who talked us out of it? Yeah, well, I should have kept my big mouth shut. <laughs> I mean, look at this. It's too long. I can't see my feet. I'm going to trip over and make a complete idiot of You'll myself. You'll be fine, Jack. You just look straight ahead and you forget that that skirt's there, eh? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, we're all set outside. How's the bride feeling? Oh, she's fine. It's the rest of us who are a mess. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. Um, well, all we've got to do now is wait for the groom. <sighs> Somebody get me out of here! Where's your mum? Out. Cool. Okay, so what's going on with Stuart? Why did he dump me? He's weird. Artistic temperament. Uh-uh. There's something else going on. Did Dad put him up to it? Stuart's a loser with the babes. He'd have more fun with me. I'm not interested, Nick. Thought you liked me. I'd like you a lot more if you tell me what's going on with Stuart. You know, don't you? Well, yes, yeah, sort of, but it's kind of gross. Talk. I'd say you've strained the transverse muscles on this side. Uh, well, <laughs> it's good to know someone doesn't think I'm malingering. <laughs> Don't mind Carrie, she gets like this when she's overworked. Ah, uh, you think she might have something else bugging her? Personal problems? Mm, don't think so. Great. Aren't you finished in here yet? Nearly. Now, no classes for the next few days. Heat, rub and rest, aspirin if you need it. There are other patients waiting, Doctor. Then you can take over here. A local massage with a heat cream would be a good start. Thanks, Meredith. You're welcome. See the links I'll go to for the touch of your hand? Sorry to disappoint you. Chris wouldn't do it again, would he? Just doing the fashionable thing, I'm sure. It's the bride who's supposed to be late, and it's been nearly half an hour. Maybe the skirt has thrown a shoe. Well, he could have got a can. Or he could have gotten cold feet. Don't even think it. Uh, Gina, Gina, have you heard from Chris? <sighs> I'm going to take Alison's room. What? You said I could. You need a woman around the place. You guys are totally hopeless on your own. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll talk to Steve about it. Mama's driving me crazy. I just can't stay in the place anymore. And since my so-called friend has abandoned me. Gina! Can't you think of anybody but yourself? Nothing. Just his answering machine. Car trouble. Yeah, that'll be it. Yeah, the Skoda or a tea, if... Why don't you and Honey go and see if you can try and find him? Good idea. Yeah. Okay. This is most inconsiderate. Look, don't worry, he'll get here. Yeah, I know. Help! Oh, he's 
got to be here. The car's in the garage. Oh, typical Chris sleeping through his own wedding. Hey, bro! Allison's going to kill him. Now I know why he wanted to spend the night alone. God, what a bastard. Chris! My cousin was three hours late for his. Mind you, you can sort of understand it. The girl was pregnant. Mm. And what happened? Well, he did the right thing. Mind you, they split up a month after the baby was born. <gasps> hey, Gina, Gina! What's up with her? Things are looking pretty grim. Well, do something! Sure, like what? I don't know. Give people a drink. Hey, Gina, you can give us a hand. I'm gonna have to get going. Oh, not yet, Michael. Uh, So I only signed the missing bridegroom. Yeah. Well, we went to Chris's place. He spent last night with some woman. What? Looked like quite some party too. Champagne the whole bit. Oh, how could he? How could he do that to Allison? That's what I want to ask him. And I find him. If you find him. Have you told her? I don't know how to. Look, this is going to break her heart. you see when you haven't got a gun. What happened to you? It was the champagne. I shouldn't have trusted him. It was drugged. Where am I anyway? You're on my farm, lad. Walk with him. I have to get back to town. Can you take me? I'll pay you. Can't see your wallet. Please, I've got to get back for the wedding. Harrison! So, what did she say? Who? Alex, you idiot, what happened? Can I see it? No. Why not? What happened? Come on, Harrison. Because she laughed at me. I mean, I told her about telling McKenna about her and you, and she just thought it was a big joke. Great. Hey, man, I tried. There's other babes. Just forget, Rachel. No, I can't, man. Hey, you got to see her for me, OK? Talk to her. Explain. It's not going to do any good. Come on, I've got to at least try. Be a mate. I think I've got to go. Won't let you down, Ali. He'll be here any second and we can get on with the wedding. Are you sure, Mum? You know, it's about time. Oh. Oh, don't panic. I'm not gate crashing. Um, I just wanted to give this to the newlyweds. Oh, thank you. Did I get the time wrong? Um, I thought the ceremony would be over by now. Chris has been held up. Oh, at the clinic? No. <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll be here soon. You look beautiful. All the best. Creep. How could he turn up here today? Does it matter? Anyone for champagne? Oh, no thanks. Hey, Gina, have Guy and Hone returned yet? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, what did they have to say? Nothing. Much. Gina, what happened? What did they say? What, Gina? Tell me. I thought you'd like Declan. I like a lot of people. And then why are you treating him like something you found in the sewer? I've just decided not to encourage him. Fine, I'm prying. It's a flatmate's right. He seems personable enough. He's obviously fond of you. Is it because he's been in jail? He's too old. He's got grown kids. I mean, can you honestly see me as Steve Mills' stepmother? Interesting thought. I do like Declan. But getting involved... It'd compromise my position here and I'm not going to let that happen again. Well, your choice. But a career's cold comfort at three in the morning. I'll save you a piece of the wedding cake. Yeah, hang on. Daryl, where is he? Uh, he's not here. Sorry, I don't know where he is and I don't really care. We do. Tell him to call me, Mike from Rockwell Pharmaceutical. I want to see him like yesterday. Okay, okay. Don't forget, it's important. A health matter. 
I think it's disgusting. Totally gross. You're screwing around with her. Who? She's my mother. I didn't. It makes me want to be sick. Hey, look, nothing happened, all right? Sure, Stuart. You dumped me so you could have a sleazy affair with her. Why don't you just hang around nursing homes if Wrinkley's turn you on? I kissed her. That's all. Only once, okay? I swear. Yeah? Well, that's not what Nick said. Probably full of fleas. Use them for the dog's bed. Better take you up to the house. Might be something the old man's can put on. Let's just go, please. I, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, I'm desperate. Cross your fingers. Start a motor shop. There was no sign of Chris anywhere. Oh, thanks for being honest. I'm so sorry, Ali. We could have got it wrong. Chris may have some explanation. Thank you. No one's seen him at Shortland Street. Shall I call the police? No. Did you think of somewhere else? Hello, my name's Alison Rayner. I was wondering if you could tell me the next international flight out of here today. No, no, it doesn't matter where, just anywhere. Yeah, book me on it. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, it seems I think the change is what I need. Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Sean and Street If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see Sean and Street Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.